The last day of campaigning for two crucial polls. Here in the Iranian capital, the streets are adorned in leaflets. The faces of the 6,200 candidates running for parliament and an influential clerical council are featured on posters that are limited in size. By law, there are no street gatherings, but here, inside a sports stadium in central Tehran, a rally held by the reformist camp is in full swing. Their hopes were raised by the election of President Hassan Rouhani in 2013, and today, these voters want more. Over the past eight years, our economy has been pounded, and with 13 years of sanctions, we just want one thing from these candidates, whoever they may be, to improve our living standards. The thousand-strong crowd singing and chanting in support of their top representative, Mohammad Reza Aref, and the former presidential candidate upped the ante on his campaign trail by calling for tangible reform. We want a parliament that can address people's problems and needs across different sectors, above all else. At the same time, it should prioritize women and increase their presence in the political scene. And these aren't the only bones of contention. For the more conservative circles, there's reluctance to usher in a new direction in Tehran's international relations. Amongst the skeptics, Conservative frontrunner Ghulam Ali Haddad Adel. Following the lifting of sanctions and the influx of foreign corporations, there are concerns that our economy will become increasingly dependent. This will be a major topic of discussion for the 10th parliament. Here in Tehran's Motahari Mosque, the conservative rally is more subdued. For these men, the priority is staying true to their Islamic and revolutionary values. In Islam, we can negotiate with the international community and do deals with them while also maintaining our Islamic values. Ahead of Friday's vote, Iran's highest power, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has urged those that don't even believe in the Islamic Republic to participate. The big question now is whether the polls have managed to engage, and more importantly, which political powerhouse will be able to win this ongoing tug of war.